Hey you guys, welcome. How are all my fashion kings and queens doing? I'm so glad to be doing another video here today. Um, now, I wanted to do something today and just show you some of my favorite looks and things that I go to as far as, um, you know, what I want out of, out of a look. You know, so I'm just going to pull some of my favorite looks um, that I put together. I want you to look at them and I want you to get a feel of what you can do. Like I said, guys, I love to give a blueprint. So you don't necessarily have to get the exact same colors or use the exact same formula, but I'm just giving you the layout so that way you can kind of make these looks your own. Okay, I'm going to come back at you with look, my favorite look, look number one. All right. All right, guys. So here we are with look number one. Yes, it is a pink floral print. Well, it's actually black, but it has pink flowers on it. Let me get close so you can take a good look at that. I love the detail in this shirt. Um, I actually wore it um, at my old job. Um, they had breast cancer awareness day and I wore this. Um, but I, I didn't pair it with my dark denim. I had uh, some black jeans. But let me show you what I did. Paired it with my dark denim. Of course, the brown belt. And my dress boots, my buckled dress boots. They've got uh, buckles on the side of them. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to start showing you guys the shoes up close. So this is the boot that I'm wearing. Kind of has that detail. Excuse the blurriness of the camera. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I paired it with. This is one of my absolute favorite looks because, like I said, I have like about four or five quarter sleeve blazers. This is one of my favorites. I wore it in my previous video. You know, it's one of these blazers that is that piece that is you can put with anything. So, you know, it's going to look good with the t-shirt graphic tee, something with words on it, um, and it's just going to upgrade the entire outfit. Let me show you how it looks one more time. With You can tuck this in if you'd like. I prefer not to. I'll just tuck in one side so you can see. But yeah, definitely one of my go-to looks as far as like, you know, if I want to throw something on and uh, I want to look dressy but still a little casual I'll always kind of go to this look now I you can wear this open um, I love buttoning the top button sometimes without a tie because I, I just dig how it looks as far as the aesthetic of it like I feel like I look dressy but I'm still toned down I'm, I'm still kind of cat well toned down to me <laughs> I'm still casual let me show you how it looks unbuttoned Showing a little chesty chest, guys. You know, so it's gonna get, it's gonna bring it down, make it look a little more casual. All right, this is look number one. Like I said, one of my go-to as far as like if I want to get dressed, just get dressed to look kind of dressy casual. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another one of my favorite looks. Looks number two, and I'll be right back with that, y'all. All right, guys, here we are with outfit number two now. I've kept. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna talk about the shirt. Just give me a second, because I know what you guys are thinking. I'm gonna explain it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shirts. Um, I have the same exact dark denim, the same, you know, buckle dress boots. But I love this look if you're going on date night, because it's so sleek. It's so smooth. I'm gonna show you why. This shirt has natural wrinkles. That's the look that it that it goes for. At first, when you look at it, you're like, oh, hell no. Look at this wrinkled behind shirt. <laughs> Give it a few minutes. It grows on you. I also like the cut of this shirt. It's fit. It, it You know, it shows my build. Um, fellas, I'm really, I'm, I definitely, you know, I wish I could tell you uh, how to purchase this because I got it at kind of like a boutique. Um, it's a unisex boutique. Like I said, it's called Top Ten. They kind of just purchase items in you just grab them um, mark down items but I love this it was 10 bucks I love this shirt let me zoom, get in there 
so you could see the detail. It's got these natural crinkles in them. At first, I'm like, oh, no, I'm not wearing this. But um, I went ahead and bought it, and I really love it. Now, the sleeves come down long on purpose. So they're meant to come down. And I think that's a really cool look. You know, I don't always want, uh, you know, the sleeve to come up. Of course, you know, depending on the look. But with this, it's simple. It's subtle. I can impress, uh, you know, my date just like this because it looks smooth. Like I said, you have the buckle shoes. If you want, you can do the loafers, okay? So this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite looks, one of my favorite shirts. I don't wear this often just because, you know, I like to I like to save this one. This is uh, kind of just a cool piece. I thought it was really cool. So it has all these crinkles all the way down. I thought this was really, really, really cool. All right. How has everybody's weekend been so far? My goodness. You know, I woke up, had my morning prayer. Of course, it's Sunday. I hope everyone's having a blessed morning. Well, afternoon right now. You know, I'm just thankful. I'm so thankful for my life, health, and strength. I'm thankful for where I am right now. I love the growth, the pain. It doesn't feel good, but I love the pain because... Through all of that pain, it's a learning experience. I take what I need to take from it. You know, don't 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 you guys ever get uh, discouraged just based off of the current situation. I'm telling you guys, if you read any amazing story where there's a main character, there always is some form of strife in the in the story, and there's always a comeuppance in most <laughs> in most stories. But I'm just trying to say that, listen, you are the protagonist of your story. This, all this that you're going through is what is going to build you as a person. So keep, keep going. I'm never going to, listen, I'm going to keep going regardless of how anybody may treat me or how it acts, how people may act towards me. I'm going to keep going because in the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm going to be sitting <laughs> and and just when, when everything comes to me and manifests itself and comes to me the way I already saw it was supposed to be, even in the midst of everything, when it comes to me, at the end of the day, everybody's going to be looking stupid and you're going to be sitting back like, wow, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. God said he'll make your enemies your footstool. Always remember that. He'll prepare a table with, uh, before your enemies. So, I Listen. <laughs> It comes a time where the last will be first and the first will be last. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm not trying to be preachy. I want to encourage you guys. I don't care if you're atheist, Buddhist, whatever. Listen, man, have some type of faith and belief in something. And if and let that be yourself. For one, start with loving yourself. All the other things will fall into place. I, of course, put God first. What y'all choose to do is what y'all choose to do, and I still have love for y'all. Let's get back to these outfits, though, okay? <laughs> this is look number two. I'm going to come back at you with look number three of my favorite looks. So this, And, and guys, this is just a few. I, I have so many clothes, it'll take me <laughs> years. So I guess it's good I'm doing a channel because I have so many options to play with. That's why I kind of like to show you the bases. I won't keep changing my pants because I have, like, so many pants it wouldn't make sense I like to show a blueprint of what you can do with one pair of pants and the same boots but this is one of my favorite looks it's simplistic yet different with the crinkles I stand out yet I'm subtle I like that I like that I love the contradiction <laughs> all right guys I will be right back with outfit number three all right guys I'm back at you yes I got my hat on now when I was talking about pieces that are go-to, this hat is one of those pieces. So we had the brown moto jacket. We've got the black wide brim hat. This is going to be one of those pieces I was telling you guys about that kind of works with every outfit. Okay, that you can put on and it it puts you it puts the outfit to the next level. And then it could be, you know, you could be your signature piece. Like, hey, you know, every time I see, you know, uh, Dale. Dale always has his 
his his green watch or what. He, I'm just making an example. He always has his wide brim hat with this, this, and this. I'm just giving you the blueprint. All right. You can chew up the meat, spit out the bones. Take what you need to take from this and do what you need to do. Now, let's talk about this fit, though. So I have my... I, I got this at Ross. Yes, it was in the men's section. I was just as surprised as you. Yes, it's made for men. I thought it was dope as crap. Because usually, a lot of women have these cool-looking, long-tailed... Or I don't know what to call them, long uh, cardigan sweaters. I thought this was freaking dope. It kind of has an African feel or Native American feel. I don't know. It's really cool. I always get compliments when I go out and I usually always wear my hat with it. I have worn this before. I believe I wore this for my um, son's birthday. But uh, because it was kind of chilly out. So yeah guys, look at check out that detail. Check out that color. I thought this was dope. And this is a look. Now, this could be, I was going to put this in the winter look uh, video that I did, but I feel as though, yes, it's winter, but it could also be fall. And I feel like even though this is really warm, if you're freezing outside, this is not going to do any justice. This is definitely fall weather or uh, I'll say like it's cold, it's winter, but it's, it's light cold. So you, this, you could do this for a winter look as well. Let me show you the back. I paired it with my... Western boots, not the distressed ones from Aldo, but uh, these boots. And I found out I got them on Amazon. Get them now because I think they lowered the price. They're like 40 to 60 bucks. But when I bought them, they were like 90 to 100, something around there. They were expensive when I bought them. But you know how Amazon does and most, you know, online retail do. They do these freaking sales when you... When you don't want to buy something you're not interested to buy it and as soon as you want to it's full price you know and I hate that so yeah guys check this look out what do you think this is one of my favorite looks okay I love this look <laughs> I love this look <laughs> I love this look uh -uh. I'm just let me stop <laughs> listen years ago they joked on little Kim about looking stupid I always thought that was cool I, I loved it I felt like you could do it with any beat. <laughs> like you could just do it with any beat. It looked like you about to, like you, uh, like you on the court. <laughs> you trying to stop somebody from shooting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs> so what outfit was this? This outfit number three, right? So I'm going to show you maybe one more, maybe a couple more, but this is one of my favorite outfits, guys. All right. One of my favorite outfits. Yeah, I like this look. All right, I'm going to come back at you guys with outfit number four. Just wait on it, okay? All right, guys. Here we are with look number four. This is one of my favorite looks. I know it's dressy, but that's what I'm trying to say is you can... Um, That was my son trying to come in. <laughs> you can dress dressy. On a casual day, who says that, you know, hey, you know, um, you can't wear this unless you're going to church or somewhere important. There, I, I love dress pants, man. I, and I'll tell you why, because you can wear them with pretty much anything. I'll be honest, to me anyway. I'm going to probably do another video. I already did that with the gray dress pants, but I'm going to show you how you could take these dress pants and put it with a t-shirt and throw a jacket on it. It'll look really cool with some sneakers, which I showed in the gray dress pants video so if you, you feel free to go back and check that out but let me care to explain this fourth outfit all right so here we have this is one of my favorite shirts it's very detailed I don't know if you can see it on this crappy camera but guys I'm working on getting another one we got the red we got the dark blue we got the light blue we got the medium blue and it's all intertwined onto one shirt man I'm digging this. It's a fit dress shirt. I got this at Ross. Like I told you, I love floral print, as y'all can tell. All right. These are fit dress pants, guys. I got these at Express. I got them half off. I was so freaking happy because the whole price was like 100 or something. And 
I told y'all when I get a deal on something, like I get endorphins. Like it's like I get a high, a rush. Because I love shopping anyway. So if I can get something for half the price, go, oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> anyway, like, uh, yeah, it was, um, was it the Black Friday sale? I believe it was. It was a Black Friday sale. It was. And I didn't go on Black Friday, but they were continuing the sale. 50% off everything. These were 100 something. I got it for 50. I got the jacket to go with it. So I have the fit suit jacket. I don't want to put that on because we know how a suit looks. I'm not a suit person. I have those just in case I have to go somewhere. Super important. Like soon court. <laughs> That's a story time, though. I got a couple of cases pending, but I can't talk about that, you know. <laughs> I'm going to throw that blazer on and walk up in there like, huh, where my money at? <laughs> just joking, just joking. But uh, I'm not joking. Um, yeah, pay me what you owe me. <laughs> but listen, guys, I'm digging this look. I got my Western boots. I love pairing Western boots with... Um, fitted dress pants I love the look it gives I love that kind of narrow toe not pointed because that'll look freaking weird narrowed you know that western boot cut a lot of my boots are like that um I'm that's just kind of the look I have I have regular dress shoes but I prefer to go with that but this is one of my favorite looks guys I would just wear this on a regular day and that's why my family's always joking on me they're like Stefan man where are you going um, the client, actually, whose house I'm decorating, I always come in there really dressed up. She's like, like, she, she we're moving all the furniture and decorating, and she just stopped, and she's staring at me. And uh, her husband's, like, laughing. I guess they already had talked about it. And she's like, Jasmine, because my wife was with me, you know, she helps me with it. She's like, I just want to know where your husband's going. <laughs> Can somebody tell me in the comments below if they have the same experience? I know my fashion kings and queens probably do. Because if you're watching this, you love fashion. You love to dress up just like me. <laughs> so, all right, guys. This is look number four. Look number four. Uh, look. No, let me stop. Sorry. Uh, it's look number four. Hey, it's all about being happy. It's all about feeling good. You know, God gives us another day. He gives breath in our lungs. Man, be silly. Be goofy. Laughter is good for the soul. I can't stand super serious folk. I love people who enjoy life. Okay, enjoy life. I don't always have to be serious. Every time I get with you, we don't always have to talk about serious things or the Bible. You ever met those Christian folk? All they want to do is talk about how good God is. And it, that's all fine and then we know how good God is. Okay, I'm a seasoned Christian. And even if you're not, even if you're Buddhist or whatever, there is so much to the world to talk about other than just your religion. You are, you, are, you are a person. You have life experiences. You have life goals and aspirations. So, guys, can we talk about something other than, okay? I know y'all see those pit stains. I'm sorry. That just happens. <laughs> it just happens. I got to get this dry clean now. That's, now, speaking of dry clean, I have black. I showed you the gray. I have black pants exactly like this. These are the long ones. Remember I told you I got the gray ones? hemmed at the ankle because that young man told me you know that's the trend but the other ones I was like nah my navy blue and my black I gotta get long so these are actually long thank goodness express has my long um hemline on the on the ankles otherwise I, I just dress pants they stop at a 32 I'm a 30 I'm a 36 36 I'll be honest with you I have very long legs as you can see I'm a tall guy I like to keep it long. They have that. So, it, speak anyway, my black pants, just like this, are in the uh, cleaner. So, had a little tear on the uh, butt pocket. So, I'm guessing I snagged on something or something. So, I had him. He said he can fix it. No problem. So, also, guys, I have these silk fit pants I bought online. They were expensive. I didn't. Did I get a deal on those? I did get a deal on those. They were doing a cyber giveaway. I got them for 20 bucks. I'm serious. The, ooh, stuff like that gets me pumped. <laughs> All right, guys, this is look number four. Would you like to see another look? I'll take that as a yes. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm showing you something really different right now. Being, keep in mind, <laughs> in the words of Erica Badu, 
that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my sh you know what all right <laughs> I got this shirt from a thrift store funny story behind this shirt a designer came with a bunch of his um I guess his his clothes that he had made that he got rid of I know some of you were saying good I'm glad he got rid of that one I like it and I'll tell you why it's different it's a different cut to me, it gives me that 90s feel, that early 90s feel. I would never, ever, ever, ever wear this randomly out. It would have to be maybe singing or performing somewhere where I wanted to stand out and look different. All right. I, I have the same uh, fitted pants. I just thought the yellow and the navy blue, the solid colors with the brown western boots go together great. But, yeah, I, I'd, rock, I'd rock the hell out of this. It's all about being confident, you guys. It's all about being confident. That's what it's about. So this is a side view. This is the back. And this is a different look. If you're like I said, I, I, I perform a lot of different churches or, you know, you know, I, I may um, sing, you know, in certain competitions every now and again. So I do want to stand out. I do want to look different. Hence this different shirt. <laughs> now, uh, in the previous video, I had some plaid pants. If you go back. And check that out uh, you know actually let me get those for you so I can I can show you Boo! Boo! No, I'm just okay so here is how they look with the how's how this fit looks with the plaid pants I would probably probably just do them with this this is I'm glad I put this in my favorite look video because uh, these pants are my favorite look I put this with my fitted cap jean jacket white sneakers white tee it, it works the same. You could plaid pants are the new jeans. I'm trying to tell you. You can put them as long as your shirt is solid. You could do it. But yeah, I'd rock this. It's very different. I like different. I don't. I don't want to look the same. But yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments. This is definitely uh, this shirt was made in the '90s. <laughs> I can tell. But apparently, a designer dropped off a crap ton of his uh, his work to a thrift store and this was one of the shirts and I, I just grabbed it haven't worn out yet but I always said I'd probably perform in this this exact outfit <laughs> so tell me what you guys think in the comments below please guys like and subscribe support your boy support black business alright I'd support you and you could bet on that alright guys I'm gonna let you get out of here I hope my fashion kings and queens have a beautiful, blessed, illustrious, yes, I said it, look it up, <laughs> awesome, amazing day, all right, guys? Think fashion, dude. Think fashion, y'all. Until next time, you guys, peace and light. Y'all have a good one.